At various points in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defines kufr as the inability to see the signs or more accurate, accurately to register the signs, right? Allah says in, uh, in Surah Al-Baqarah, سَوَاءٌ عَلَيْهِمْ أَنْذَرْتَهُمْ أَمْ لَمْ تُنْذِرْهُمْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ It's the same. Whether you warn them or not, they're not going to believe. At different places in Surah Al-An'am and other surahs of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it doesn't matter how many signs you bring to these people, right? They're not going to believe. They're just not going to believe. And so this has nothing to do with their eyesight. It has to do with their insight. Right? It has to do with the state of their hearts. It has to do with their ability to receive the truth. And this makes sense. I mean, it comes back to sincerity, right? How is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going to judge people according to like, okay, like one person didn't receive the information or they didn't receive the call or they didn't know. And the other person knew like, that would be quite unfair, right? But no, this person prepared their heart to accept the truth when it came to them. And this other person buried their heart so that it didn't matter if the truth came to them or not. They weren't ready to accept it. They neglected their heart. Right? As Allah says in Surah Al-Shams. So this is why, this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps us accountable or what he holds us accountable for. Are you ready? Did you prepare your heart to accept the truth? To accept the signs? We see the phony arguments of the kuffar in the Quran. Oh, give us an angel. Oh, send us a book, right? Oh, send us this. Where's the miracle? Well, we want to be given a book. Well, we want uh, a prophet from among us. So all these sort of stipulations, they're not real stipulations. It's not like if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only did that, then they would have believed. No, it wasn't about belief. It wasn't about proof. It wasn't about information. It was about the state of their hearts. It didn't matter how many signs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would show them. Even if he matched every single thing that they, they asked for, the goalposts would keep moving because they never intended to believe in the first place. They were just making excuses. So what's incumbent upon us and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expects from us is to prepare our heart, prepare our heart to believe. That's virtue. There's an aspect of faith. It's like an epistemological aspect of faith, which is like, you know, you believe in something. Maybe you don't understand it, but you believe it. But then there's an aspect which is just about virtue, which is about sincerity. You want to do the right thing. You you have a sort of charitable understanding towards, towards faith and doing the right thing. And so when you're given the opportunity, you choose faith as a moral act.